For centuries, the River Jordan has been an important site of religious significance for Jews, Christians and Muslims alike. Recently, however, the waters of the River Jordan have taken on a mysterious new hue, turning unmistakable blood red a few weeks back. This strange occurrence had Jordan and Israel's populations thrown into panic. Unsurprisingly, the first miracle Moses did was turning water into blood. Others perceive this as one of the signs of the impending apocalypse. Scientists have been trying to explain this strange occurrence ever since. Could this be a sign of the end? Going by biblical narration, this is one of the signs of the end times. Revelation 16.4 speaks about the turning of a third of the waters into blood. Although this little pool is not exactly consequential on the grand scale, it is a cause for concern. The Dead Sea, which this little puddle shares land with, is one of the most famous seas in the world. The Dead Sea is best known for its healing capabilities and richness in microbes which do wonders for the skin. The sea dates back to four million years ago. The Dead Sea is so named because it is one of the saltiest water bodies in the entire world. It has a 34.2% salinity. The Dead Sea is a hot spot for medical and health researchers. It is believed to hold the key to a few potential treatments for some diseases. This is mainly due to its mineral content. Its low pollen content, as well as the reduced ultraviolet composition and higher atmospheric pressure, may have specific health benefits. Anyone suffering from a respiratory ailment will benefit immensely from the reduced atmospheric pressure of the Dead Sea region. The Dead Sea climate makes it seem especially made for relieving ailments. Sorius's patients can safely sunbathe in the Dead Sea region due to its reduced UV rays caused by the increased atmospheric thickness. The Dead Sea mud pack is also beneficial in relieving osteophritis pains. The only downside is that the relief is temporary. You cannot drown in the Dead Sea. Swimmers can only float in this water. The Dead Sea's only tributary is the River Jordan. The River Jordan empties itself into the Dead Sea. It borders the Dead Sea to the east. The River Jordan is an important landmark in Christian history. It is most significant for the baptism of Jesus Christ by John the Baptist. In the Old Testament, the River Jordan was the last hurdle that the children of Israel had to cross before entering the Promised Land. A small section of the northern portion of the Jordan has been kept in perfect condition for baptism and local tourism. Jordan has moved from being one of the most sacred places to occupying a cushy position on the list of the top 100 most endangered ecological sites. Talk about a fall from grace. The religious significance of the Jordan River cannot be overlooked. Many miracles are connected to Jordan. The first mentioned was when the children of Israel crossed the Jordan near Jericho, with Joshua leading them. Afterwards, Elijah, accompanied by Elisha, crossed the Jordan on dry land. He had parted the waters by striking his mantle upon the waters. The river parted either way. After Elijah was taken up in chariots of fire away from Elisha, Elisha met the river Jordan. Elisha struck the water with his master's mantle and the river parted from him. It was also in the river Jordan that Elisha healed Naaman's leprosy. Elisha had told Naaman to go and wash in the river, instructing him to dip himself in the water seven times. Naaman did, as instructed, and came out of his skin clearer than that of a newborn babe. Many questions have been raised concerning the significance of this blood-red lagoon, which suddenly popped out in Jordan. Is the recent phenomenon of the River Jordan turning red an indicator of an impending apocalypse? The signs of the end time and rapture can be divided into four categories. Cosmic signs, social signs, prophetic signs, and the actual event of the rapture. Cosmic signs. Many biblical prophecies indicate that there will be an increase in natural disasters like earthquakes, tsunamis, famine, and floods as a sign of the end times. Additionally, in Luke 21.11, Jesus foretells that the sun, moon, and stars will be shaken during this period. 
social signs. Many prophetic passages foretell a rise in social upheavals, like wars and persecution, as a sign of the end times. This will include the emergence of a world government system, the one world economy, and a global false religious system that opposes God. Prophetic signs. There will also be a significant increase in religious deception, with the emergence of false teachers and prophets, and a great falling away from the faith, according to Thessalonians 2-3. Actual event of rapture. The Bible teaches that Jesus Christ will come to snatch away believers at the rapture. This is also known as the blessed hope that Christians have looked forward to since the very beginning. According to 1 Thessalonians 4.17, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Ultimately, all believers should be eagerly looking forward to the return of our Saviour. This is a glorious promise of hope and a comfort to the Church that even in these uncertain times, Jesus will come again and his promises will never fail us. Although some scientists believe that the red coloration of the lagoon may be more natural than spiritual, what if this red coloration is not of natural causes?